So I just visited the sites of the manufacturer of the world's fastest accelerating automobile. Tesla? Nope. Bugatti? Nope. Lamborghini? Nope. Rimac? Yep. And where is it? Croatia? Is that near Hobbiton? No, and don't worry, I'll explain everything. Please feed the YouTube algorithm by giving the video a like. If you want to see more like this, click subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. If you want to chip in on my expenses, I now have Patreon and YouTube memberships. It all started with a guy called Mata Rimats, and yes, that's how you say his name in his native accent. He was born in 1988, making him just 34 now. He was born in what is now Bosnia and Herzegovina, and when he was three, his family moved to Germany to escape the wars erupting in the former Yugoslavian region. When he was 12, the family moved to Croatia. An electronics prodigy, he won several awards for his designs, followed by degrees in applied science and entrepreneurial management. He was a car guy, building very fast cars, especially ones that he could drift, including his 1984 BMW 3 Series. He eventually blew the gas engine and decided to turn it into a 600 horsepower electric car, following in the footsteps of his idol, Nikola Tesla, gaining several FIA and Guinness World Records in the process. Mata decided he liked this electric car concept and started Rimac's Automobili in 2009, focusing on the super high-end hypercar market. He decided to build his business in his adopted homeland rather than taking investors' advice and money to move to another country where he would have a better source for employees, factory space, and specialized machinery. The original headquarters and factory is located in the Croatian capital of Zagreb. Rimac's electric hypercars are such that you can charge $3 million for a hand-built car that will outperform anything on the planet. Along the way, Mata decided to fork the company's efforts, one side towards their own hypercar, and one side towards developing customer spec electric components like motors, inverters, and battery systems, and supply them to companies like Porsche, Hyundai, Kia, Renault, Jaguar, Aston Martin, Seat, Koenigsegg, and Automobili Pininfarina. He got early funding from Porsche and Hyundai Kia and launched the design of the Concept One. The Concept One was under development for five years and was released in 2016 with a total of only eight cars built. It has four electric motors, develops 1,287 horsepower, and will do zero to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds, reaching a top speed of 221 miles per hour. Internally, the car uses a tubular steel chassis and was painstakingly hand built which is a dead end for any kind of volume production. Mata knew this was a transition car to the one he really wanted to build, which became the Concept 2. Richard Hammond, the dumb little guy from the Top Gear car show about three dumb guys, crashed a Concept 1 at a hill climbing event. This is the only video available. You can see him lose control entering the turn, and then the car is on fire on the other side of the hill. Mata didn't seem to mind too much. Development of the Concept 2 started in 2016 with a clean sheet of paper. The chassis is completely carbon fiber and is designed to pass worldwide crash safety tests called homologation, allowing the car to be sold everywhere and legally be driven on public roads. It also has four motors, but now for a total of 1,914 horsepower. 1,741 foot-pounds of torque, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.85 seconds, and topping out at 258 miles an hour. The battery pack has a range of 340 miles when driven at reasonable speeds, 
It even has a drift mode, which makes Mata happy, but absolutely shreds a set of tires in minutes. It has a fire extinguisher in the back, held in by a leather strap embossed with the words, in case of hill climb, extinguish fire, a nod to Richard Hammond's little escapade. The onboard software will eventually include a racer assist system that analyzes a racetrack, then automatically drives the car on it with the skill of a top level race driver. It will also have a teaching mode to train lesser drivers on how to get the most performance out of the car. Besides admiring Rimots for being a powerhouse of ultra high performance electric cars, I actually applied for a job there around Christmas 2020. They had a position listed writing software for the displays running inside the car. On a whim I applied and was notified about an interview. Wow! The interview went well and I completed their programming assignment in a week despite not knowing anything about the QT development tool they use. I was later turned down because they said they were looking for someone with more experience in QT. I was disappointed as I really had my heart set on the job, the company, and living in Zagreb. Sigh. At the time of the announcement of imminent concept to production a few months ago, the car was officially named the Nevera, which is the Croatian word for a sudden violent summer storm along the Croatian coastline, which seems pretty fitting to me. 150 units will be built, and the very first one just rolled off the assembly line a few weeks ago and was delivered to Nico Rosberg. Formula One champion and the guy who luckily put in the first order. Nico posted a video of his delivery day and first drive through the city, and I'll put a link into it to the description below. So, on to my Rimats adventure. I arrived in Zagreb about four months into my roving European trip in July 2022, and I especially targeted Zagreb on the trip for the Rimats connection. First thing in the morning, I walked out and got a taxi and explained that I want to go to three locations and take pictures and video and then come back. The driver was okay with that, so off we went, starting with the original headquarters building in the village of Sveta Najela, which is about 25 kilometers west of the city. Pre-COVID, they actually gave factory tours, but sadly, that still shut down. I had a nice chat with the security man at the gate, and he gave me the okay to take pictures from outside. The next stop was an abandoned Bauhaus furniture store in the southwest of the city. Rimots was getting way too big for the original building, so they searched the city for some extra space, found this, and quickly remodeled it into a hand-built car factory. This is where final assembly of the Nevera happens. Mata published a YouTube video at this site showing the progression of test cars from the earliest prototypes to the final one. I'll put the link to it in the description below. Now this site was also barred to visitors, but I did manage to get some good pictures, including seeing through the glass tube thing where Mata was showing the prototype cars on the video just a couple of weeks ago. I was about 10 feet from those cars, so close yet so far. A couple of years ago, Rimots realized it was outgrowing its first building and began construction on a massive new sprawling campus, which will eventually be the largest single company site in all of Croatia. It will incorporate all aspects of the company, including engineering, manufacturing, and a test track. The site even includes a historic castle, which they're going to preserve. I wish I could fly the drone here and get a, bir a nice bird's eye view, but I could only get some stills and footage along the front entrance. The current access point is a very narrow two-lane road that goes over a humpy bridge, and I think Rimots is going to have to pony up some cash to upgrade that road for all of the new traffic that it's going to see. In 2021, Volkswagen sold the Bugatti brand to Rimots, and Mata has dropped a few hints as to how he plans to move Bugatti into the world of electrified vehicles, but no details yet. To learn more deep details about Rimots, their employees, and their technology, you can watch the videos that they posted on their YouTube channel. I'll put a link to the whole channel in the description below. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in Zagreb and the nearby day trips that I took. 
I confirmed the feeling that I would have been happy living here, but that is a life not lived. Best luck to Remat. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to feed the algorithm and do all the YouTube things. Take care and see you next time.